Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Gwardiya nga nitabang paghipo sa nanglupad nga kwarta sa SRP, gipasidunggan sa kapulisan. Laping dakong police station sa Central Visayas, itukod sa Mandawe City. Mayong unto, sa nga ni Dennis Tapar, ako si Gia Navarro. Kauban sa inyo sa puwersa sa CCTN News Team, kami motod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. O karon sa kompletong detalye sa ato mga balita, guard sa Cebu Cordova Link Expressway, nga nakatabang niya itong kolektor nga nahulugan ng minilyon nga kwarta sa South Road Properties, gipasidunggan sa Cebu City Police Office. Ang kasayuran niya ni Arnold Bustamante. Gihatagan na pasidungog sa Sibusiri Police Office katong gwardiya nga unang nahulga nga matangtang sa trabaho sa ahinsya. Ngayang gialagaran, humani ini matabangi ang usa ka kolektor nga nahulugan ng minilyon nga kwarta sa Fayadak sa South Road Property. Si Dean Queno sakop sa malaking ibong bughaw kung i may be. Gihatagan ng Certificate of Appreciation ni Police Colonel Irene Danugdug. Ang hepe sa kapulisan sa Dekmen Susugbo at sa flag racing ceremony ng ganunang buntang. Mato ni Danugdug nga bisan siyang duty isip gwardiya ni Antoga Panahuna. Wala kini magpanuko sa pagtabang kang John Mark Cabarga Tos, arong bandungon ka doga mga namunita sa nagpasad ng mga kwarta sa karsada. Uh, despite sa ihang duty as a guardia, uh, kung may nung duman na ito, na itong uh, July uh, 4, aduna uh, ay nahitabong insidente dito sa kuan sa CCLEX na involving sa, sa kakulektor na, 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 na ng lupad ang mga kwarta dito mismo sa area sa CCLEX. Yung kining guardia, Uh, ning biya sa iyahang pwesto para lang yun uh, mo assist, mo tabang atong mga atong uh, na <coughs> nahulugan ng kwarta. Gikalipay ni Queno ang gihatag nga pasinuhog sa kapulisan kaniya. Sanglit nakita nila ang ihagarahimo na pagtabang sa isikatao. Yang giangkon nga wala na siya mahulga nga masuspenso sa trabaho apang gipaubos siya karon sa floating status kung kaya wala na siya makabalik pa sa iyang pwesto sa Sisilex. Gingon nga aga Sisilex ang wala na mupabalik kaniya o giing nang lang matod pa siya sa MIB agency nga hatagan og lain pwesto ko nga naanay bakante. Pagkakaroon ma'am, wala pa pagkakaroon nga uh pwesto or floating pa ko karon ang ilang ang ilang client diri sa Cebu is dora ka ang si Celex na o sa May Ramos dapat Mupaul ilang una siya sa ilang lungsod sa probinsya Sogbo samtang magpaabot sa tawag sa ilang agency kung doon ang lalaing pwesto nga bakante. Apan si Dalugdong nga nasayod sa sitwasyon ni Queno, andam nga mutabang ni inipinagi sa pakigalayon sa Regional Civil Security Unit aron maka-apply kinig laing security agency. Sa among nahibalan, nakuan dahil siya karun, on floating. Na floating kay, uh, orang ipatanggal siya sa Cecilix ba? Pero kuan, uh, Nag-coordinate na po mi sa RC issue na matagaan siya o ganang bagong pwesto. Kay floating status man siya. It's so happy na ang ilahang agency di ay kay wala ilang client diri sa Cebu City, only ang CCLEX. Nakadaig si Dalugdo sa kinaya ni Queno, nga kaya nga pasidunggan, tungkol kay matinabangon kini siyang isikaingon. Arnold Bustamante, CCTNO! Barangay Giso ug Umapad na imong mananaog sa Inter Barangay Men's and Women's Volleyball Tournament atol kana sa Mayor's Cup diya sa Dakbayan sa Mandawe niadtong Sabado. Ang kasayuran niadto ni CNU Com intern Cheryl Talandron. Nagbalampuson ang bago lang gipahigayon nga Inter Barangay Volleyball Championship match dito sa Mandawe City Cultural and Sports Complex ni Adtong Sabado. Diin gideklarar isip kampyon ang men's volleyball team gikan sa Barangay Gizo o women's volleyball team sa Barangay Umapad. Sa men's category, nagtigi ang Barangay Gizo, Batok Barangay Upaw, samtang nagtigi sab ang Barangay Umapad, Batok Barangay Subang Dako sa women's category. Human sa init nga panagtigi na ang kungyud sa barangay Gizo ug umapad ang kadaugan sa maong torneo. Sa katapusan gipasidunggan isi first runner up ang barangay Upaw, second runner up ang barangay Subang Dako ug third runner up ang barangay Magikay sa men's category. Samtang first runner up ang barangay Subang Dako, second runner up ang barangay Tipolo ug third runner up ang barangay Magikay sa women's category. 
Si Mayor Jonas Cortez, BC Mayor Glenn Bercede ug mga konsyales sa mong dakbayan ni padayag silang hugot na suporta sa mong torneo pinaagi sa pagsaksi sa mong duwa. Ang kasaulugan sa kaunsi nga mayor Cup sa mong dakbayan nagsugod ni atong Mayo 21 ning kasamtangan nga tuig. Si Congresswoman Emery Lollipop Quano Dizon ug board member Glenn Soko mipakita sab sa ilang suporta sa maong torneo. Gawas sa volleyball tournament tuna sa gipaygayon nga mga sports lakip na niini ang badminton, table tennis, chess, sepak takraw ug daghan pa. Ang volleyball mao pay unang natapos na torneo sa maong Mayor's Cup. Sa pagkakaroon nagpadayon paghihapon og ubang mga sports ug tapuson kini adto na sa buwan sa Agosto. Ang Mayor's Cup gihimo ni Cortez aron sa pagpaligon sa maayong relasyon tali sa matag barangay pinaagi sa kayusaan sa natad sa sports ug aron sa mapakita sa mga players gikan sa nagkadayang barangay ang ilang katakos ug talento sa gikahiligan nilang duwa. Cheryl Talandron, CNU Com Intern, CC TN News. Halos na ukupar na ang tanang 100k units sa medium rice building ni mutang sa barangay Lorega San Miguel ding dakbayan sa Subo. Gibutyag ni Kapitan Fritz Herrera sa CCTN News Team nga nasa 70% nga biktima sa sunog nga sa ilang barangay ang gipangatagan na og kapoy andiya sa MRB. Samtang ang 30% nini nagagikan sa nagkalainlaing barangay nga apektado sa sa nagpadayon karon nga recovery project sa siyudad sa Siam ka mga sapa. Gipangayuan og 1500 nga abang ang mga nagpuyo sa MRB base sa rent to own program sa siyudad nga mamahimo nga makaangkon og unit ang pamilyang Subuanon base sa qualifications nga gikinahanglan sa siyudad pinaagi sa Division of the Welfare for Urban Poor kun diwop kinahanglan nga i-validate ang mga namuyo sud sa unom kabuan. Sa uban pang mga balita, labing dakong police station, Lukop Central Visayas, gikatakdang itukod diya sa dakbayan sa Mandawe. Ang six-story building, gipunduhan og 60 milyon pesos o sa General Appropriations Act. Ang kasayuran niya to ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Gipahigayon ka ganinang buntag ang groundbreaking sa bagong building alang sa Police Station 2 sa Mandawi City Police Office ang nga sa Camp Demetrio Cortez sa Barangay Subang Dako. Ang groundbreaking gipanguluhan ni Congresswoman Imari Loli Papuano Dizon, Mayor Jonas Cortez, mga konsihali sa Dakbayan, mga opisyal sa Mandawi City Police Office o representante sa Department of Public Works and Highways kung DPWH sa Region 7. Giba na barang mahuman ang construction sa building sud sa Usa Katuig, itandi sa ubang police stations, din adun na lang gitas on nga tagduha o tulo kaandana. Ang building sa Station 2 aduna na gitas on nga unong kaandana. Maukini ang ikonsiderar nga kinadak ang police station sa Tibuok Central Visayas. Suma pa ni Colonel Noel Flores, ang Deputy Regional Director for Operations sa Police Regional Office 7. Ang building gigahinan og 60 million pesos. Gipunduhan ubo sa General Appropriations Act of 2023. Pinaagi ni Congresswoman Imari Lollipop Uwano Dizon which is um dili the usual sa uh, one to 6 tag 6 million to maybe the maximum is 12 million man na for uh, police station but kan eh, this is extraordinary something special gud ba nga na himo ang 60 million for the city of Mandawe samtang ang luna nga mukabat sa 400 square meters ang iya sa kagamhanan sa siyudad sa Mandawe kini duol sa karaang north bus terminal og barangay hall sa subang dako ng police station ng fire station ng barangay Ogang complex. So, money atong tuyo nga in one uh, specific uh, vicinity na atong uh, services sa uh, para sa barangay sa bangko. Ang bagong building, giingong dakong tabang para mahimong mas efficient o effective ang serbisyo sa Station 2. Ito kayo nang katapang sa atong kapulisan ay para mapadali po na atong pagserbisyo sa katawang sa students na dahil. Mga nga, salamat po ni sa ilang. In return, ang ulang po na ihaptag ang among uh, matinutuan ng serbisyo sa katawan sa Mandawi para ma makatabang po niya sa pagdugang uh, uh, na development sa Mandawi, pinagi sa ito. Ang nahimutangan sa bagong building sa Station 2, gayong Osaka Strategic Location, gawa sa Barangay Subang Dako, lakip sa jurisdiction sa Police Station 2 ang uban pang dagkong barangay na mawa ang tipulo o bakilid. Ang mas strategic na siya, kaya mas kita kayo, agyanan kayo siya, dari niya, uh, atuan na yun yung building na magamit, nga, inclusive for the PNP na yun. 
ang syudad sa Mandawi adunay unom ka police station ug ang kanduman police station pa lang ang nakaangkon og standard nga building ikaduha unya ang station 2 tinguha nga matukuran og kaugalingon nga building ang laing upat ka police station nga nagki-share lang og espasyo sa mga barangay hall Mary Rose Sagarino CCTN News Naumang mahuman ang renovation sa Cebu City Sports Complex sa Dipa Mahuman ng Tuiga. Mato di si CSC Manager Juvito Taborada nga nagtinabangay ang 25 ka mga trabahante aron humanon ang mga ayuhunon diya sa sports complex. Apan magdepende lang gayod kini sa mamahimong kahimtang sa panahon. Gayo sa pagkakaroon ang 15 meter o 25 meter swimming pool, isip ka sa rehabilitation sa CCSC din matod pa gitinguha nga mamahimong Olympic sized. Pinasubay ang gitrabaho karong pagpa-renovate sa sports complex sa gipangandamang bidding alang sa ipahigayong palarong pambansa 2024. Ong maugato naglangkob sa mga balita sa alas 12. Sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs, ingon man sa itong news manager nga si Dennis Tabar, ako si Gian Navarro. At ang iang atong Sire 47, karon ka ng alas 5 sa hapon, hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Musunod na sa Dimadugay ang Santos Gamisa nga manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat, Daigo ng Diyos! Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family. Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family. Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Today we join the whole church in the celebration of the memorial of St. Benedict Abbot, the famous patriarch of the Western Monasticism who founded 12 monasteries in Europe including Monte Cassino and wrote the very famous uh, monastic rule. And uh, we offer in this Mass for the intentions of all those commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration. And we also pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill, and praying as well for all the intentions we promise to pray for. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, yes, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the Abbot St. Benedict an outstanding master in the School of Divine Service, Grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maid servants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, 
I will not let you go until you bless me. The man asked, What is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contended with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, Do tell me your name, please. He answered, Why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Penuel, because I have seen God face to face, he said. Yet my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Penuel, Jacob limped along because of his hip. That is why, to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket. Inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisee said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So asks the master of the harvests to send out laborers for his harvests. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we are all called to nourish our life of faith, the gift of faith that God has given to us becomes a responsibility and as a, and, and as a task for us to nourish and to nurture it. So that a nourished faith is a strong faith. A nourished faith is a resilient faith. However, there are so many human reactions that can contribute to the growth or to the deterioration of our faith. And such examples we can sense and we can see in our gospel story today. Wherein one group of people were amazed to the wonderful signs that Jesus did of curing a demoniac in our gospel today of driving out demons and they were amazed with this and even said nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel such an amazement is indeed a kind of a a very important push and a very important kind of a starting for a faith to be nourished. When we start to be amazed by the wonders of God, we start to question and we start to open our hearts due to the experience of being amazed, due to the experience of amazement. And we are now ready to believe. We are now ready to surrender to God the reason of our amazement the reason in which our hearts are moved to be open. And another group of people here, especially the Pharisees, after witnessing the kind of signs that Jesus did, the same signs that those people were amazed upon this kind of workings from Jesus, they questioned the Lord and even destroyed the very image of Jesus who did a marvelous deed by saying he drives out demons by the prince of demons. They were envious of such wonderful sight. They were so full of envy that their hearts are close to believe. Because envy is the product of pride from a person that they could no longer capable of receiving wonderful things that God can do to a person. They became indifferent due to their envy. They became callous due to their envy. And here, in this kind of situation, faith deteriorates. Faith will never grow on this person. And with this, we ask ourselves, what kind of of reactions do we have of what kind of persons are we are we the kind of persons who continue to be amazed 
by God's grace, even with so little kindness that we can find from people, and knowing that this is actually God in the workings. Or our hearts are envious, most especially to the blessings of others and trying to question God, why them? Makaingon lang yun ta, sana all. Nganong wa jugoy apel, nganong sila rajud. And we grow indifferent and bitter in our hearts that we could no longer open our hearts where faith is being nourished. We continue to be amazed. We continue to open our hearts so that our faith will continue to grow. Amen. Please stand and let us pray the prayers of the faithful. Jesus attended to the crowds with a shepherd's care and told his disciples to ask God to send laborers into his harvests. Let us pray to God for more vocations in the church who will act as shepherds and laborers for the harvests. And let our response in every petition, Lord, send out laborers for the harvests. Lord, send out laborers for the harvests. Lord, set out your missionaries as fishermen to gather people for your kingdom. With your help, may they have a great catch. We pray. Lord, Lord send out laborers for your harvests. Lord, send out sowers who sow the seed of the word of God. May the seed fall on rich soil and bear abundant fruits in the hearts of men and women. We pray. Lord, send out laborers for the harvests. Lord, send workers to tend your vineyard. May the vines bring forth crop of good grapes and not wild grapes, we pray. Lord, send out laborers for the harvests. Lord, give your church shepherds after your own heart. May they tend to your flock, not under constraint, but willingly and lovingly, we pray. Lord, send out laborers for the harvests. Lord, send laborers for your harvest. May they gather what others have planted, and may all rejoice in the fruits of the harvest, we pray. Lord, Lord send out laborers for the harvests. O God, Jesus went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom and doing good to everyone. May the church continue his saving mission through men and women whom he, she sends in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Look kindly, Lord, upon these holy offerings which we make in honor of Saint Benedict, and grant that by following his example in seeking you, 
we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to Let the us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints you who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, the Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Benedict and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace, I live you, my peace I give you, looked not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with yours, and may Lord. Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God.
coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family, 